Hello everyone. Got another stove review for you. Another pack stove. Uh, this one is known as the Bush Box. It is uh, sold by a company called Bushcraft Essentials. Alright, this little guy is very small. It's made out of stainless steel. Uh, let's see if we got a weight on here. Uh, la la la. I do not see a weight listed on here, but that's okay. It's not a big deal because I'm telling you now it's next to nothing. Um, anyhow, uh, the Bush Box. This is a packable stove that breaks down into uh, pocket size um, that uh, will, can carry anywhere with you at any time. It's a very small, very small profile. Uh, as you can see, this is your overall thickness uh, completely. It'll make a box, obviously. Um, it can burn all your different fuels from your hexamine to your liquid fuels uh, you name it it'll eat it up uh, today we're going to do a quick uh, demo on this uh, by using wood and uh, basically we're just going to be using twigs and uh, we're going to see what we can do about boiling uh, two cups of water in our zebra billy pot 12 centimeter billy pot uh, the water is at room temperature um, So I'll stop talking now. I'm going to show you guys how this is put together so There's really nothing to it. It's like a jigsaw puzzle you just fit the uh, little clips in Fit them down into each other lock them in I can do these three sides first You'll see why here in a second. Now what we have here, guys, is they've included a little ashtray. And that's going to go in according to uh, your uh, notches. Now this one's set up a little different uh, than a couple of the others. It only has two slots. So we're going to slide that end in. Then we're going to do the same thing back here. Okay, we're going to carefully slide all this back up together, making sure that that little ashtray goes into place. Maybe. <laughs> Sorry, my knee's killing me. Alright, sorry about that, my knee's killing me. All right, so go ahead and ah, I'm all thumbs today. Okay, slipped it in. All right, there we go. Sorry guys, I'm just all thumbs today for some reason. Been like that all day. Okay, there you go. We're put together now. This is your input right here, obviously. Uh, now. We're going to sit this back out of the way. Now naturally remember, make sure you have a level area clear of any debris that could initially catch fire because then there is going to be times where you're going to might have pieces, small pieces fall out onto the ground. So be mindful of your area safety first. All right, now we've got these two little guys here. All right, they're actually designed for sitting flush all the way down in. And they also have a shorter groove cut in to where they actually can sit up just a, a hair above. Uh, but there's notches in here, as you can see, and we just line them up and slip them down in. Okay, there we go, just like so. All right, easy peasy, except for my all thumbs. This is like really simple, <laughs> and uh, it comes with this little grill plate, which uh, just sits down in here into these two little grooves. All right, we're not going to use that today. There's really no reason to. I'll make sure this thing's good and level and the ground good. Okay. Now, as I said, you can use your other fuels. However you wish to do it, you can sit this down in there. Uh, however you want to. But we're just going to do it the old-fashioned way and just use wood. So, let's get this going. Get us a burn test going. 
we'll get it timed see if we can get this done in seven minutes or eight minutes or so hopefully okay now I'm gonna kind of move some of this stuff out of the way now like I said safety first oh this does come with a nice little pouch little cotton pouch it is a very snug fit and uh, this little guy like I said will fit in your pocket so let's get on with this See what happens here, guys. All right, everyone, back. Sorry about that. Uh, 4.10 p.m. is the time. Let's get this thing on here. See what we can get for boiling. 4.10. Okay, remember, make sure your area is safe. These pieces are going to pinch. You will have little pieces fall out, so you don't want to catch your surrounding area on fire. So now we're going to just keep feeding her. Let her go. Keep kind of coaching that little pieces in so they don't fall out onto the ground. So here we're already burning outside now. Remember safety first. I know I keep saying it, but anybody with common sense would understand why I keep saying it. Because of that right there. That little piece. See here? We got two pieces laying right here that are smoking. That are hot embers that could easily start a fire in an unprepared area. Uh, we just turned it eight minutes okay hoping to see that in the sunlight all right let's uh let's check it now well it's but it's boiling but it's uh it's not a rolling boil yet i'd say at least another minute Ooh, be careful see i almost spilled that right there 
right? Another minute. I say we should do it. See all this stuff guys? This is why I'm telling you to be safe and keep your area good. Keep it safe. Don't try using this in a tent. Alright, one more look. Oh yeah, we're going good. Okay, so we got a full rolling boil uh, at 420, which uh, I would say minus the minute that I've been farting around here has probably been doing. But uh, we're, we're looking at about nine minutes. Uh, let's see. Got a good boil going. And also look here. See what I'm talking about with keeping your area safe? All these pieces fell out. You don't want to be doing this on top of a bunch of dead leaves and crap like that. All right, so in closing, guys, this little guy took uh, nine minutes, just under ten minutes, I would say, in that general area due to my farting around um, to boil two cups of water in a 12-centimeter Zebra Billy pot.